Hello everyone, my name is Estefaro, and in this new tutorial I will show you how to configure your models in Unity to get an update for Uncharted. First, we need to go to Uncharted local files, then we go to bundles, then sources, okay, sources, and we drag um, our project file into uh, the Unity project, okay, like that. Once we have uh, this, we just uh, press all and import. I will use an example model that maybe I could leave in the description. I will make a folder with a random name, just to know which is the model what I'm putting here, right? Um, let's name um, let's name it uh, speed bump. Okay, I don't know. I guess. Bump. No, right. Okay. We drag the texture and the model into this folder. Okay, so the first thing we need to configure is the model. Okay, uh, the prefab. So uh, we select the model. Then in the right part of the of screen, you will see the inspector window. Okay, this allows you to configure the model properties. First, we uh, will configure the model. We deactivate the combat units, okay? Then uh, we uh, deactivate the import animation, and in the in location we set use external materials, okay? I will explain this. Um, combat units uh, makes uh, the model um, with a fake scale. You will see. Now you will see the model as a uh, big shed, but don't worry, uh, just you need to reset the transfer and you will see the original, uh, the original uh, size, okay? And um, the animation, um, but the, and uh, the location of the materials uh, allows you to configure your own material, your own material, a little, sorry. Um, this allows you to configure it your shadows with any, without any problems, just like that. We change the color and the, we deactivate the specular highlights and that, that's it. If you think um, that the texture is so fuzzy, we need to go to the properties of the texture, okay? And we change the filter mode to point no filter. To begin creating your object, we will create three empty entities. Okay, we uh, right click on hierarchy, uh, create empty. Okay, three game objects. Uh, These three game objects, we will call it, uh, wait, we will call it um, as clave object. And nav. Okay. Object clip and nav. So, these three objects um, has something in common. Uh, they use something, uh, something called a mesh collider. Okay. Also, uh, they have uh, the same mesh. In, in my case. Okay. And just clip an object has um, a material. Okay, nav doesn't have any material. Clip an object, uh, use the same tag. In, in this case, I will use medium and layer small. Okay, and nav has a nav mesh in tag and layer. If your model is a large object, you uh, can use a tag as large and layer as a medium. We proceed to add uh, the model into the scene. As you can see, the model is so big. That's because uh, the transform is so um, large. Look, this is scale. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is reset the transform and you will see the original form of this model. Okay, uh, we change the name uh, to model uh, I don't know how to name that 
backslash, I don't know, and zero. I recommend to unpack prefab. Uh, is more safe uh, than left, uh, leave it uh, as a original prefab. Um, and also we need to change uh, the the tag and the layer of this uh, of model. Okay, so the model will have the same tag and layer that um, from the object. Okay, so if your model has a, a medium and it's a mal layer, you need to put the same tag and layer. Okay, so we have the model, we have the object, the clip and the nap. Okay, uh, this, the next step is to change the rotation of uh, those those three empty game objects to uh, minus 90. Okay, uh, that's important, don't forget it. Something important of the, the unturned models is the optimization. Okay, so in the uh, prefab object, uh, we will we will add um, something uh, what is called a uh, lot mesh lot group. Okay, lot group uh, is a tool uh, to uh, to make disappear some some objects uh, when you are so far away okay so in this case I uh, will use uh, just uh, those two um, two groups okay uh, the the final group needs to uh, have uh, three uh, percent percent per percent I don't know um, <laughs> all right once we have the object, the clip, and the nav ready, we need to uh, put in into a folder named as uh, as you want uh, speed uh, underscore bump uh, underscore zero, and we drag the three objects into this file. Okay, so we have the speed bump, and we use the bundle tool to grab. Uh, this uh, folder okay and we bundle the speed bump zero I will uh, put it in the desktop okay and uh, we have the file here so I will make a folder to this file with the same name okay speed underscore uh, sp uh, bump underscore zero okay the folder on the file needs to have the same name okay once we have the speed bump uh, unity 3d file into the folder we need to uh, the dot the dot that folder no files into the into this folder okay so i will take some um, files of um, local alternate files okay I will take some uh, objects from me, okay, from my mods. We need to have two um, dot, uh, dot files, dot files into our folder, okay. One of the files needs to have the same uh, name, uh, like uh, like the folder and the Unity 3D file, okay. Um, and we need to change this. The GUI ID uh, needs to be deleted, and the type needs to have the same um, name that that uh, as the object or the clip. Okay. In this case, the tag is medium. Okay, so we put medium, and the ID needs to be unique. Okay, so I will uh, put. Uh, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe four or five. A uh, random number, okay. I did never know what is this, but I think it's important. Collision important, uh, I think <laughs> also is important uh, for the roads or, or the bridges, I guess. Asset bundle version is like a configuration for the shadows of the game, okay. 
if you if you want to have normal shutters you need to use uh, this command i will leave you the command in the description if you need it and exclude from master bundle i don't know how to use a uh, master bundle but uh, if you use asset bundle like me you need you need to use this command okay it's saved and uh, we need to change the english uh, file in this fo uh, file we need to put uh, the name of the we need to put a random name or i don't know uh, in this case i will put a uh, tutorial uh, i don't know uh, speed bump uh, okay I, okay there it is we save and we close and our model is ready so uh, the only thing you need to to do is uh, make a, fol a folder into the uh, bundle files and objects and uh, it's recommended and uh, you just create a folder with your mods and drag it in there that's it